Hello there. Today we will be talking about streams. So what is a stream? A stream in computer science is a sequence of data elements. So uh, if I show you my next screen over here, I have a file, a text file, a pretty large text file, which is really composed of bytes. So when you have these row bytes, which are, uh, you know, sequenced and processed in small chunks over time. So let me draw a time axis here, just a second. So if I have the sequence of bytes going over the time axis and uh, these uh, bytes uh, will be processed obviously in pieces, one word at a time, one line at a time, it really doesn't matter, but it's uh, word after word or line after line. And all this data is processed uh, you know, byte at a time, then you're really looking at a case where it's a stream, it's a stream which is processed. Okay, in this case, we have a finite data set uh, file, you know, even though it's big. Uh, this could be, uh, in another case, it could be a stream of uh, a different type. So let's say one of your friends is chatting on his or her mobile device and in this case there's some more data additional data which is sent as JSON files and again processed one JSON document at a time you are looking at um, an example which is uh, a long stream of data and you don't have any idea when the stream is going to stop because this in this case your friend he or she might be chatting at night in the morning you have no idea when he or she is going to stop, or a couple of other people who are chatting at the same time. And this is getting processed as data across time. Again, I have the time axis, right, across time. And that that is treated as a stream. Now, the stream, in this example, I have a slightly different example here. In, in, uh, in the previous two examples, I had a data which is coming from the outside, a text file, or chat. But... The stream could be, again, communication happening between two types of servers, an app server and maybe a processing server on this side. And again, I could have JSON being used as, uh, you know, a stream of data, but again, processed somewhat in sequence over time. Now, when we talk about streams, something else comes to mind, streams and events. Now, let's imagine... Uh, um, a store, an e-commerce store, and you have these uh, events happening. And an event in an e-commerce store is a buy event. You could have um, a shopping cart event. You could have another buy event. And this is again happening over time. And you could translate that uh, these events into this information package in a JSON, and uh, typically in a JSON file. And since it's an event, you would have a shopping event or a buy event. And let's say, let's say here, I will have uh, a buy event. Well, I guess there's a shopping event. Let's talk about this one here, a buy event. And a, a buy event could have, you know, an ID, a product ID, or a collection of IDs. Or I could have the time when this uh, event happened. Let's say uh, I'm recording this in July, so July at 10 a.m. Um, I could have uh, additional information like price coming in, right? So price, you know, uh, X dollars. And all this thing could be packaged into one event uh, as a JSON file. So when you have this, you're still processing, you're creating these events on a store, inside a store, an e-com store, and that is converting into these JSON files, which represents a stream of events, a stream of data. So again, that's the kind of the kind of the relationship you have to think about: is these events could be converted to a, a stream of events, a stream of data, and that data is processed again one uh, one time, or however you want to process it. And when we talk about streams, there's this ecosystem we have to think about. Um, so here again, you have this processing happening one one JSON at a time. And uh, going on to the next topic, when you think about streams, you have <clears throat> these three things you have to be aware of. Uh, data pipelines, 
So let me use my marker again. Data pipelines, you have stream processing and then analyzing those uh, uh, data sets or streams of data, right? So in the data pipeline world, we have our famous Apache Kafka, just uh, we'll talk about this in a later video. Uh, we have processing of streams using Apache Spark, again, very popular. Flink is also a stream processing thing. And we have these commercial applications from, uh, I guess this is from Salesforce now, MuleSoft, Red Hat, Apache, and this is also an open source. Some want to substitute for Kafka, but there are some use cases around RabbitMQ and Google's uh, offerings with their uh, PubSub model. And similarly, on the processing side, some commercial offerings. I, the favorite one I have right now is a new and upcoming uh, platform called Pathway, which is much more easier to use compared to Spark and Flink. And the uh, obvious uh, commercial um, hyperscalers with AWS Lambda, and Google's Dataflow. There's some other open source packages called Spring Cloud Dataflow. Uh, hasn't got, got much traction because obviously, you know, um, angled on a, uh, or uh, built on Java and other frameworks. And on the analytics side, I have seen only the, uh, the uh, commercial ones, uh, mostly in, from Azure. Then you have Pathway playing there, Stream with a double I and Swim. And most of them are commercial offerings focused on a specific industry at that time our industry focus right so they have uh, um, uh, most of these are uh, easy for developers to use too it's not uh, that even though they uh, some of them are commercial and some of them have a developer offering like pathway and uh, i would highly encourage you guys to just get familiarized with these uh, these three types of um, you know stream related ecosystems so you have pipelines again processing and analytics I'll talk to you later in a future video. Until then, thank you. Bye.